This is Dewey Raw, the podcast that gives you a behind the scenes look at the biggest little party town on the Delaware shore. Welcome to a bonus episode of Day Drinking on Delmarva. I am Todd from goodcleanfunlife.com. And uh, I'm joined this week by Toasty from the Starboard. How are you doing, Toast? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> Take two. No, no, we're good. We took, I don't, we, don't, we don't need to do two takes. We just need to go. No, this is the second take. We're going. We're doing, we're, we're, we're rebooting. So for everybody out there, we just did probably the best four minutes of podcast we've ever had in our entire lives. Right. And we didn't have the microphones on. Yep. So now we're trying to relive the best, most fluid part of our conversation <laughs> and it is virtually impossible. Let me do the catch up real quick. Okay. And then <laughs> and then we'll get into it. And I have and I have excuses. No pressure, no reasons. We don't have excuses. The 5 years ago I started a podcast that we kind of uh, jokingly did from the Starbird that was called Dewey Raw. It fizzled out in 2019, then of course 2020 happened. Um, but now I think is a great time to restart it, which is what we're doing. And we've restarted it twice already, yes. like literally in the last six minutes. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of people who want content uh, from the Dewey Beach area. There's a lot of messaging over the past year that needs to get out and is ever changing. And I figured this would be a great opportunity and a platform to do that in a fun, informative what? Yeah. Well, there's there's a lot going on in town. There's a lot of changes with mm-hmm. whether it's COVID, whether it's just a normal seasonal change. Like, there's a lot of information that we can get out to the general public that are coming to the area, right? Or the live in the area. Mm-hmm. And if they have to come here every single week, yeah, and see us, yeah, and listen to us to get that information, so be it. So be it. We're willing to spend the time to make everybody happy. Yes. We're putting ourselves and the knowledge of the general public above our own needs. We are selfless. Needs. We are very selfless. The, uh, but that brings us to the, the format change. The, the old show was, was fun, but it, the world has changed. Maybe not uh, permanently, but it's different. We spent, we spent a lot of time talking about getting the content of the old show. Uh-huh to have a little more structure. Mm-hmm. And you worked pretty hard on it, and I was usually stuck operating a restaurant because it was Sunday afternoon. Yeah. So we never really we never really got there. But now, right. I think we've got the right idea uh-huh. where we can make it inf- informative. Right. Give it some kind of outline structure. Mm-hmm. And have people listen more than... Uh, the first five minutes yeah that which was is, i think is the goal that would be great we had a great first five minutes on the show before this yeah so we're doing more sit down more structure more sit down conversation me and you hopefully we have some guests um uh hopefully we go li- we're able to go live as we get as we get into things and into the season and in doing so we can even take like comments and question and answers from from people one million percent uh, can, I, can we sidebar here for a second? Sure. Keep it going. Keep it rolling. But on our first take, you had telephone voice, and now you do not. I got scolded by you. So, That's it, why. so you're, you're, the telephone Todd voice threw me for a complete loop to the point where I didn't know where I was. <laughs> and now you're talking like you normally now, do. Yeah. And I think I missed the telephone voice. Right. But let's let's not go ever go back to that. Let's let, yeah. Let's not talk about the telephone. Yeah. The telephone voice again. I was in broadcasting for like a hot minute. I was a DJ for a hot minute. And my father is a Methodist minister. So I think, you know, I was always, uh, you know, the the performative speaking orator. What? Yeah. Um, So so here's, here's my question to you. Okay. What do you think we are going to get out of this podcasting? And what are we going to get out of it? Or is what, a, what, a, what is a would-be listener going to get out of it? Well, I think both. Yeah, okay. Because I think 
our time is just as valuable as anybody listening time. Sure. Clearly, there's going to be more listeners than we are talking, so the time investment is skewed. Right. But what do you want to get out of this experience? Honestly, I want to uh, I, I want to create something that that people can tune in and feel like they're part of what I have for the past eight, ten years been a part of, which is, you know, the, the Dewey family. And yeah. again, specifically the, the Starboard family. It's such a uh, unique and like positive experience and sometimes crazy. It's nice to share it. And it's and and I want to I want to share it and I want to share it in a way that isn't just like what you might expect I guess right yeah well like we we as in the starboard are in the hospitality business yes like it, it doesn't just mean that we're gonna serve you good food or good drinks or make you laugh in the twine but we're, but we're also gonna be humans yeah and treat you as such like it's not all about getting a buzz mm. or like making your hunger go away like sometimes it's just about being a person right and I think that's what we're going to kind of get to here yeah well and and mostly it's just going to be me and you talking about what's going on both personally and professionally that was a request of yours when we when we first started talking about this yeah well the people like, I feel like if we're going to get engagement mm -hmm. people want to know who we are Right. You know, like, anybody can be a weatherman. Yeah. That's why there's so many. Yeah. This is, this is more than the weather. Do you... We should do the weather, though. We should do the weather. We should, let's throw it to Elliot. It's who's all doing, rain. Who's, who's doing the weather. Uh, Elliot, did the sun come up today? Just check his uh, yeah, Instagram. That's, that'll be great. Um, well, with that said... Uh, I definitely think that uh, we are open to suggestion on like what people want to hear, what people like. We're, we're, we're figuring things out. This is why we're doing the, like kind of the bonus episode and then it's going to be have its own feed. We're working out the kinks. So like if people are listening and they want to know something, uh, we're, I, I think we, we lean into that a little bit. Yeah. That said, I think right now what people are most interested in is what is the plan for St. Patty's March Day opening weekend 17th yeah the the anniversary of the day that that rocked our worlds yeah but not in the in the good normal rock not, your world kind not, of way not how you would like to be rocked yes uh, so this year for St. Patty's Day opening weekend we're going to operate to the best of our ability to as many people as we can legally have here mm -hmm socially distanced and sat. Um, we are putting the canvas back on the tent in the parking lot Monday. We're gonna add a, a, two smaller tents that'll mimic the this bigger tent. Cool. Uh, closing in as much as possible, but still keeping like the airflow so it is outdoor dining. Mm -hmm. um, add some heaters, some TVs, because the NCAA tournament is still on. Right. And it's, I know the formats change. It's not like there's multiple games on at one time. I think it's just one game on at a time. There's cool. Whatever bubble they're in, like they're just rolling with it. Um, we're gonna add the tables back out in the parking lot. That's all gonna be covered and roll it. What like, is the current capacity that you are allowed by? We are at fifty percent. Okay. And we. Oh. Does that roughly what's that equate to, like numbers wise? Do you know? Uh, I know you know. 300 you say? and change. Okay, 300 and change. But even with every table in this restaurant set, mm -hmm. we're, we, we're not going to get to that number. Okay. With, uh, with the restrictions on six people to a table and the six feet of separation, mm -hmm. it's just impossible to fit mm -hmm. more people than that. Right. Which is kind of the. We're very fortunate that we have a parking lot to expand into, and right. usually we're, we're shut down to about half this size yeah. for the season. So we were able to keep the whole restaurant wide open, which was a blessing, and a lot of other places can't do that. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so I know that we're hoping, and not just for us, that some of these restrictions will slowly right. get lifted. Well, it, you know, it, it's an interesting point because I feel uh, that there, we're, we're on a positive trend in terms of numbers dropping. There's always the threat of new whatever. We won't get into that. Don't believe me. But there could be, but like, the, uh, but at like this point. W so the 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 basic uh, the basic fact is we know now more than we did One a year, year ago. ago, and so I think that's something good to build on in terms of just being positive and getting as many people in here safely, enjoying themselves. That's the ticket. Is is doing it in the safest manner we can. Yeah. So. In the past, we've done those "Don't Be That Guy" videos yeah, for opening yeah. weekend, and honestly, we could do another one of just "Don't Be That Guy." Like, hey, if you're up and going to the restroom, like wear your mask. Yeah. Like, if you're if you're here and you're enjoying yourself, yeah, stay seated at your table. Yeah. Like where and where the host is sat. Yeah. Not not the one where like you ended up. <laughs> it's just I feel like. So somebody said this to me the other day, and I don't know if it was you or not. And they, they, were, they said, what is wrong with people? Like, can't they just be decent? Yeah. And for some reason, the word decent is just stuck in my brain. And I'm like, there you, you go. know what? Like, maybe, that, maybe that's the 2021, like, just be decent. Just be decent. Well, you'll recall that my big thing was keep it positive 2019. Yes. That was that was a big push, and I I can't even remember what we were going to try to roll out for 2020. They should have been like keep it negative, but yeah. COVID tests. <laughs> I did the things. <laughs> the, the double guns. Uh, yeah, it should have. 2020 was 2019. Keep it positive. 2020, keep it negative. Your test. And 2021, let's be decent and have a great time. Be decent. Be a good human. So we we are having we are changing the schedule a little bit for opening weekend we're mm -hmm. opening st patty's day at which is a wednesday which is wednesday this we're year. opening at 11 a.m and we'll probably close at 11 p.m we i mean no people have to go to work the next day yeah um and then we'll be open thursday friday saturday sunday mm -hmm. starting at 8 30. you know sunday night we may close at 10 or 11 o'clock right because it's not going to be a all weekend barn burner Right. I really, I really miss that. Yeah. Um, it's different. But we've got uh, Kristen and the Noise playing one day. Brian O'Boyle playing one day. I'm pulling my phone out so I can tell you when. Well, so because Saturday afternoon at four for Kristen. Two thirty on Sunday. Yeah, and there's four and there days. Four, to, four days of NCAA games. Cool. So, Good yeah. combo. So it should be fun. You know what? And I don't expect that we're going to get the crazy crowds traveling from everywhere like we right. normally do or yeah. normally would have, but I think it's going to be good. Yeah. There's other places in town opening up. Uh, like I know, I'm pretty sure that Country Club will be back open. Beer Co. across the street's open. Raw, Gary's, don't know about Servita, Woody's is open, Hammerheads mm -hmm. is going to be back open. Nalu? Mama Maria's? Mama Maria's is definitely, no, Nalu is definitely open. Okay. I don't know about Mama Maria's. Okay. Or, or yeah. I don't think the rudder's open. Right. But that's a whole different podcast. That, that, that's, that's a, uh, so that's a, a and, uh, Starboard had been, or Starboard opening had been going that direction where it really has become more of a Dewey open yeah. weekend. Even Rehoboth and and Lewis, where people are staying and going to restaurants for the dinner and, and that sort of thing. So presumably, that you know, the, or the idea is that there's a lot of places to go. You can spread out. Yeah, you can still you can still come to town. Yeah, there's still plenty of places to go. You can right. spread out. You can do it. You can do it in a safe manner. Yeah, and also come here and have a great time. And 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 there, for me, there's a certain uh, sense of optimism that this is a step in getting back to where people want to be. Yeah, you know, and you gotta 
you know, quote unquote, behave a little bit to, to you know, to get to that. Um, yeah, we need, we need a lot of people to see the big picture. Right. And help us get there. Mm -hmm. We're not, we can't do it alone. Yeah. Well, you guys here at the Starboard are, uh, I, I feel like very much the, you know, the thought leaders and the, the litmus test. I mean, th there always seems to be a microscope on what's going on here. Um, and fortunately, there's people like you who are in charge, making sure that, you know, the trains are running on time and. Yep. Here and we are. So, Just you know, sidebar, one of the reasons I think we had to restart this and, uh, I, I, I was going to tell you that I was nervous about doing this, even though we're, you know, good friends. Very, we can know. talk as much as you want. We, we can do this all the time, we, just not in front of cameras. Exactly. I think um, that's why you went to telephone voice. But you, well, I do. The, you always say to anybody else that I'm filming, like we're doing these little profiles, we're rolling through, like Todd makes you look good. Every time. Don't worry about it. So like that... That so, puts a lot of pressure on me, Toasty. No, whatever. <laughs> so, like, leading up to when you guys first started working here, mm -hmm. you know, we had different photographers in and videographers, like, and it's like it's like when you, it's like when you take a public speaking course or you have to get in front of the class and make a presentation when you're in school. Like, right. everybody's so nervous all the time. Yeah, and for no reason. Yeah, it's like. It's like there's one person in front of the class talking and everybody else in the room is shitting their pants that they have to talk yeah. or they're not or they're so relieved that they already did it. Right. Like they're not they're not thinking about you. They're not thinking about what you're talking about. Quite frankly, anything I probably talked about in high school was so bullshit that yeah. like <laughs> I didn't really care about it. Right. Like nobody did. Unless they're valedictorians. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um but it, 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 it's like that translated to, to work and fun and mm -hmm. getting your, your photo taken for the website here or yeah. doing your little staff bio. Like everybody gets so nervous as soon as they think it's going to be around forever. And I, like, I think that's why uh, I was going to say the Snapchat, but Snapchat, not that old yet. <laughs> Snapchat is, was, is cool because you can take a picture and like. Right, right. It could be a disaster. You know who's taking a screenshot of it, like, yeah. and it's gone. Like the stories, like, yeah. it's so quick, it's so instantaneous that there's not a lot of time for for you to feel uncomfortable or for people to ridicule you. Yeah. And I try to emphasize whenever you're here and you you have a camera in the, or a, whichever kind of camera you, you have that day, right. whichever rig you're carrying. <laughs> if you if you're putting it in front of somebody, you're going to make them look good. Yeah. And it's just a little bit of reassurance. So they can be comfortable being themselves. Yeah, I from the very start we've been doing this for uh, for for a long time, almost 12, 12 years this March. So it's it's interesting we're talking about opening weekend because when we started before we even started at the Starboard, we started our business and website and and all of that uh, during St. Patrick. It was like for St. Patrick's Day. That was like the big kickoff. So this is like a like a big thing for like St. Patrick's Day is a big thing for us too. But from the very beginning, it was always, always, always to show people in a positive light. Yeah. And over the, the course of the many years that we've been doing it, um, I've often said that, uh, or my, my, my brag is, we could walk into almost any bar here between Ocean City and Dewey and walk behind the bar with a camera and people feel comfortable. You know, yeah, like it's gonna be, you're gonna have a pod, positive engagement. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Like, yeah. And that's, I mean, in, it's invaluable. Yeah. But I still, I still say it almost every time you're filming somebody. <laughs> I like walk by and I'm like, he's gonna make you look good no matter what. Yeah. Well, and that's the, and, and that's the kind of uh, positive attitude and uh, you know perspective that that's important with a lot of things. Uh, you know, it's always easy to get down on 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 stuff. Or, sh or like, I'll be honest, the negative shit, that, that's what, you know, that's what makes the money, that's what makes the clicks, that's what, you know, all of that. Yep. And that's never been in our ethos, and I think it's why it's a good match with us with the Starbird uh, 
because it's not it's never been in the the starboard ethos i mean you're sitting in front of you know a wall of pictures and that's always been you know a staple of this place for the past how 20 years 30 years since monty's owned it 22 years 22 years 1999 sure isn't that crazy what? we had a we had a meeting last week with uh -huh. a local coffee roaster uh -huh. cuz we're thinking about switching our coffee to cool. a nice local bean well the bean's not local but they roast it i don't right. know how that works yet um and mine was like, yeah, Toast has been working here for like 20 years. And I was like, fuck, it's more than 20 years. Yeah. I'm like, somebody, someday somebody's going to be like, yeah, he's been here for 20 years, but it's going to really mean 30. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of rude. Right. It's kind of rude. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, shut your mouth. Yeah. The, uh, I, I think that's a testament to the place, too, is like in the, in the hospitality business, there's a lot of turnover. And here, not so much, right? We've, you know, we have our we have our fair amount of turnover, but I think we have a core group of people that will hopefully be here for a long time. Right. But there, I mean, so, some of those people leaving to start new careers, like it, it opens up an opportunity to hire somebody else that could want to be a part of this place for a long time. Right. Right. I mean, this is this is a great area. It's booming. We have four seasons. The yeah. winter time's a little bit slower. Not as slow as it used to be by any means. Like there's a there's a lot of people relocating down here. But we want potential staff, potential customers, mm -hmm. the P and our current staff and current customers to know that we're here, we're not going anywhere. Right. And we're gonna try to do everything to the best of our ability. Yeah. And we're gonna be decent. Yeah. Decent and what just be decent in twenty twenty. We don't need to be great. We just need to be decent. Right. <laughs> Double meeting and decent. Like, like, set. Make sure the bar is set at an appropriate. Yeah, I feel like decent could be our word. Yeah, I like it. Keep, like, keep hey, it honey, decent. Hey, honey, how's that shirt look on you? Decent. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, okay, like, perfectly acceptable. Maybe that's our brand. Decent. Right? Decent humans. Uh, yeah, no, I know. I I do think that's a uh, with all the places that we that we've worked and been involved with you know the the sense of family here is legit uh you know and among the 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 customers as well as uh you For know the several staff years people thought i was monty's son Mind making wait, that up. wait so you're not monty's son no yeah no i don't all right you heard it here first that could be i would be he would be a young father the uh, you know it's it, it's funny you talk about. Uh, I probably just blew so many people's minds. You're like, fuck, he's not. <laughs> he's not Monty's kid. Yeah. Okay. People people are understanding. Yeah. Why would he work there? Yeah. Why would he stay this long? <laughs> what? Yeah. Exactly. Why why would you? It's like oh, family business. Got to sweep the floors. <laughs> Clean the toilet. Somebody's yeah. got to. Got to make the toast. Dude, still do it. <laughs> The, the uh, burning my knuckles. One of the things that I've thought about, uh, you know, putting out to people who may listen to this, who may enjoy it, it will be, a, you know, it might be a different population than our than we're used to seeing who would appreciate something like this podcast. But to put out to them to like submit, you know, their starboard story because there have been a lot of starboard stories that are that are, you know, too involved to you know just cover in a two minute long video it could be and it could be a double hitter because we could put it on the tvs like we we get to like re, like mean tweets but we read people's starboard stories yeah yeah like how many how many babies talking about you being monty's son how many babies do you think have come out of here wanted and otherwise mm, oh ooh. here's the question do you think more wanted or more otherwise? oh that's a good question what's the over under i bet it's 50 50. i bet it's 50 50. I bet it's more wanted. I bet it's. I bet people are more well, willing listen, to want a child after the fact. Let's, can we start and say and and make this a very politically correct podcast? Mm -hmm. Just because Natalie's staring at me. So look, <laughs> they always want the baby. They may not want the pregnancy. Right. Right. So let's separate that. Yes. So don't come barking up my Twitter. 
<laughs> about what he said. <laughs> they want they want the babies. They want the baby. Sometimes the pregnancies were unplanned. Unplanned. How many planned? How many unplanned? And when is so it? So many more unplanned. And when does you know for there's there's a. Team. I'll tell you a story later. I got it. We'll probably have to get somebody to sign off on it before I can publish it. But yeah. It's about a, a local doctor with a kid. <laughs> this is what, it's, it, they're married. It's Perfect. Nothing, there's no. Yeah, no funny business. No scandals. Well, there's funny business. That's I, they, well, we plenty call, of funny business. That's what they call it back in those well, days. You know, it's funny. When, and when we started talking about doing this, I have made the comment, it's like, uh, I'm sure a lot of people will want to hear the crazy stories. And you and I both were like, I, like, there are some crazy stories, but like, I haven't experienced like so, super crazy stories. It's, it's funny, I'm, I'll be dating myself a little bit, but Justin, who just got promoted to bar manager, we were, we, you know, we're here on Mondays together and he's learning how to do the inventory and the ordering and just some of the small stuff that are that's important for him to learn yeah uh to do his job well and we'll talk about older stories and i like i it's so it's like it's like jokes yeah like you're like hey tell a joke and you're like i don't know but sometimes when the setting's right you're like dude i for some reason i remember all the jokes it's the same stories here like a lot of times like what's your favorite story i'm like uh right make something up but like candidly like I yeah. just start rolling off like, dude, back in the day, like this place was much more different than it is now. Yeah. A lot, a little looser. Like it's the state of the world was different too. Maybe you don't think, no, I don't know. The state of the world sucks right now. Yeah. Yeah. Like it could be much worse. Yeah. I mean, maybe we were born in the wrong decade. You know, the, the never. Never. No. This, this, I'm, I'm, this time was meant for you. Yeah. But I, I, I've got some stories. I'll start when I now that I have an opportunity to remember them because yeah. Justin will ask me a stupid question, and I'm like, it used to be this way, and then right. like, that leaves me in a whole other. And then, and then I'll write them down. Well, and then, you know, a lot of people have asked about, and we've talked a lot about recreating another drunk history. Maybe that's what maybe that's what the drunk history is. It's just like recreating old stories. Old stories. Old starboard stories. Drunk starboard history. John like Hardy, we're coming up with new segments. This is why John we're doing Hardy this. has a story about the guys over here getting hammered drunk one time. Uh huh. And Alice Walsh, who lived across the street, mm-hmm. God bless her soul, was a school bus driver. And they got so drunk that they stole her school bus. And when she like, and when she went to get up in the morning to like, go pick the kids up, it was just gone. That's amazing. Yeah. And back then, like, like, like you, what you, you can't just call somebody on a cell phone. Like, yeah, you're like, okay, like, da 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 da. Like, where's my bus? Like, okay, click. Da 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 da. You can't mass text. Where's my fucking bus? <laughs> Well, just as they say, that's kind of bringing us into the station. Uh, you know, 30 minutes. If people want to hear more, we can go longer. But I feel like we're off to a good start. Yeah. I feel like we can fine tune. Uh huh. I feel like we can plan a little bit. Yep. I feel like we can get some listener input. Yep. Viewer input, whatever we're streaming this on. We would love that. And uh, as the season starts winding up yeah we're gonna wind up as well and just pedal to the metal i feel like one of the reasons i wanted to start doing this on on a friday afternoon is i feel like that's a good time to steal time from you and i just imagine people driving down from wherever and uh you know tuning in or checking it out or like hearing what's going to be happening next weekend or like that's that that's ultimately i think my hope so your idea is to film this at two ish o'clock on a friday Mm -hmm. and then publish it live yeah we'll go right up not this one this is like we're we're like we're we're working out the kinks how big is this cloud (laughs) it's a big fucking cloud (laughs) it's holding on to bitcoins i know that (laughs) 
Well, I just don't understand. That's about all I got. You got anything else? No, I'm a. Uh, I'm ready to roll. All right, give us a listen. Uh, we're going to be over on a uh, on the original Dewey Raw uh, thread. That's the plan. So you should be able to find this on uh, Apple, Spotify, all of those. We are going to get so many fucking sponsors. <laughs> Just wait. We're going to make no money. Money, I quit. <laughs> but we need a reservation every Friday at 2 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> all right, right on. Perfect. Thanks, bud. Signing off. This is the Dewey Beach Party Podcast, hosted by Todd and presented by GoodCleanFunLife.com.